This simple children's storybook has made over $220,000. And in this video, I'll show you exactly how you can start a similar business. First, we're going to generate the title of the book, followed by the main story, which will be accompanied by some illustrations. We're going to use the power of AI technology to simplify every step of the way. So, if you're interested in generating passive income, make sure you watch till the end where I'll give you my personal secret to stand out from the competition. I came across this storybook while scrolling on Amazon. Upon closer inspection, I realized that it had 14,697 reviews with a selling price of $14.99. Now, with some quick math, we can see that this book has generated $220,308, which is quite impressive. Let's look at a second example. This storybook has 4,884 reviews and is being sold at $10.95. So if we multiply those two numbers, we get $53,479. From this, we can see that it's possible to generate passive income even while you sleep. Usually, the barrier to entry for these types of businesses is quite high because you'd have to invest not only a ton of money for the illustrations, but it also requires a lot of time to come up with the content. Thankfully, with the help of AI technology, we'll publish our own storybook with ease. The first step is to come up with a title, which is why I chose ChatGPT. I asked the chatbot, what is the good title for a children's storybook? The theme is adventure. The chatbot gave me a list of 10 titles. One that caught my eye instantly is the magical journey. So I asked the chatbot to give me more details about it. I was amazed at the attention to detail and naturally asked the chatbot to list all the chapters. Remember that you can regenerate the title and chapters until you're satisfied with them. Once I was happy with the chapters, I asked the chatbot, write chapter one while making it rhyme. After a few seconds, the chatbot did its magic and I was left with a cool story ready to publish. Now we have to repeat this process for every chapter. I highly recommend that you save the text inside a .txt file or a Word document, as timeouts happen quite often while using ChatGPT, and we don't want to lose everything. What I'm going to show you next will blow your mind. We know that this book's target demographic is children, so we need to add illustrations to bring our story to life. For this, we have two options. The first option is to find somebody on Fiverr and pay them to create multiple illustrations. We're looking at $10 per illustration, so if you have 10 chapters with three paragraphs each, that's $10 times 30, which would cost you 300 bucks. And the quality is, well, cute. But what if I told you there is a way to generate high quality images for free? I've tried and tested all the major AI image generators, and I found that Midjourney was the best of the best. First, we'll join the Midjourney Discord group where you'll see all the different illustrations generated by users. We'll now create our own prompt, which will in turn generate an illustration. Let me show you. We must type forward slash imagine followed by the description of the image that we want. So go back to chat GPT. Now we'll ask the chatbot to summarize the first paragraph. Once that's done, copy it and paste it into the prompt. And these are the results. Looks cool, right? You can upscale the image you like by choosing U1, U2, U3, or U4. If you don't like the results, you can always click on the refresh button to regenerate new images. So I'm going to choose U1 as I want to download the first image. After a few seconds, when you scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll find your image. You'll want to click on it, then right click and choose Open Link. From there, you can right click on the image and click Save Image As. Now, we need to do the same thing for every paragraph in our story. We'll take the second paragraph and ask the chatbot to summarize it. If you want to keep the same style for every illustration, here's a tip. You'll have to right click on the image and choose copy link. Now, type in the following line, forward slash imagine plus the link plus the summary of the description. Repeat the process for every paragraph in your story. If at any point you're having difficulties with setting up mid-journey, I've added a guide in the description box below. If you've reached this point, I want to congratulate you on taking the first step towards improving your life. This is the fun part. It's time to create an awesome story. Now that we've generated the text with ChatGPT and the illustrations with mid-journey, we need to assemble everything to create our own storybook. For this step, we'll be using Canva. 
I've been using Canva for years because it's beginner friendly and it has a ton of pre-made templates. Once you're on Canva, type storybook inside the search bar and click on create a blank storybook. Once that's done, a blank template should open up. Now you have to slide the image onto the template. Make sure to resize the image according to your needs. To make things more simple, you can click on duplicate page, which will automatically create a new page alongside the same text style. Now you simply replace the image and you paste the next paragraph. We need to repeat this process for every paragraph of every chapter until we're done. Once we're done, it's time to export our storybook. We have to click on File, then click on Download. By default, the file type for a storybook is PDF, which is the correct format, and click on the Download button. Congratulations, you're now the proud owner of a storybook. And you see, it wasn't so hard. The final step is to publish your storybook. There are many options such as Amazon, Apple Books, Google Playbooks, Dream, and many more. But I suggest using Amazon because it has a lot of free traffic, which means that we can start making sales as soon as it's published without any risks. Also, it's 100% free. To publish your storybook, you need to go to kpd.amazon.com and fill out your account information, which will include your contact information, the bank account where you will receive the payments, as well as your tax information. Once that's done, click on Create. And here, we want to choose the Create eBook option as we have a PDF file ready to publish. You can also choose the paperback and hardcover options if you wish to. Now, we will give it a title name, the author, which is you, and for the description, we'll simply paste the description in. Make sure that you proofread the description and modify it where necessary. For the publishing rights, choose I own the copyright and I hold the necessary publishing right. Then we enter some keywords that describe our story. This will help in terms of SEO to get more traffic. For this example, I'll just put two keywords. Now for the category, we might not all have the same categories. Make sure you find the most appropriate for your storybook. My storybook is based around an adventure, so that's what I chose. Now choose the age range. Then choose the option, I'm ready to publish my book now. Click Save and Continue. This is the important part. Click on Upload eBook Manuscript and choose your PDF file. Now, we'll want to choose the Upload a Cover You Already Have option. Just a tip, if the image you want to upload is not of JPEG or TIFF format, we can simply right-click on the image and click Properties. From there, we can see that our image is of PNG format. So, go to Google and type PNG to JPEG Converter. Then, click on the first website and follow the instructions. Once that's done, we can come back to Amazon KDP and choose our JPEG image. Now, click on Save and Continue. The final step is to set a price. Start by setting the royalty option to 70%. Once that's done, you can look at other storybooks on Amazon and decide on a price for your own storybook. After doing some research, I decided to go with $9.99. Now, click on Publish Your Kindle eBook and we're done. Your storybook will be reviewed, and you should be ready to make some passive income right after. And as promised, here's my secret to stand out from the competition. When we're looking for an item to purchase, we look to see if it has any reviews. Storybooks are the same. If they have no reviews, they'll most likely be overlooked by potential buyers, as it signals that the book hasn't been tried and tested. So, ask your friends, family, and colleagues if they'd like to support you. All you need is at least one five-star review. I'll let you read between the lines here. So, let's review the steps. Step number one is to generate the title, description, chapters, and text for the story using ChatGPT. Step number two is to generate the images using Midjourney. Step number three is to generate a PDF of our storybook using Canva. Step number four is to publish our storybook to Amazon KDP. And step number five is to like this video and comment below if you found this video helpful. It helps me to create high quality content for all of you. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to help in the comment section. See you in the next video.